We are on a Brunico castle. Walk here is very, very, very hard. It takes like five minutes. <laughs> Hello guys, it's Piotr here and today we are heading to Garda Lake. Garda is the biggest lake in whole Italy, located in northern part of country, very near Verona city. Click the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our productions. Thanks. We have a little emergency, <laughs> because uh, Jacek has an uh, oil thing that oils the chain and it falls down, so we have to fix it. Here is the biggest piece of advice I can give you in this episode. Don't come here on weekend. We did it and we regretted it as soon as we started getting closer and closer to the lake. Everything before that was great, maybe beside the temperature. Is it just me or you guys are also boiling inside when there is like 35 plus Celsius outside? Please let me know in the comments. Our day started in Pietra Alba and we had great views right away. As soon as we get to Valley near Ora city, we started climbing again on a road I really wanted to check. It's called Passo Mendola. Placed on another side of the valley that we have came from, provides amazing view on the area. part of that road is when you have mountain wall on one side and view on the valley on another with balconies to stop by and enjoy what you see. The distance for today was about 350 kilometers and in mountain areas like are in northern Italy with so twisty roads it's very exhausting to make such long trips. Ooh. It's warm today. We have a pissing break now. <laughs> a toilet break with some water, watering, energizing, something like that. We are on our way to Garda, but we are going opposite direction that normally because we should go south, then around Slata de Strada della Fora and up. But we go uh, curvy roads first and then uh, highway. And guys, I'll show you something that is very strange for me. I mean, this one. So this shop, almost all shops, are open from 7.30 to 12.30 and there is a break between those, so there are two hours break, so later the shop is open from 2.30 uh, to 7 p.m. And we always stop after 12, so right now we wanted to buy some, I don't know, cold uh, drinks, cold yeah, cola or something, but we can't. So take siesta. Yes, siesta time. So yeah, please take this under consideration and don't do things as we do. Yes, we have now 85 km kilometers to Garda. So two hours and we're gonna see the biggest lake in whole Italy and the purest one. thousands of motorcycles here. Many of them came here to ride fast, so we had to watch our back very often to let them pass. And I mentioned temperature. 
that was also a big deal for us, especially when the traffic or speed limits allowed us to ride max 40 km per hour. In such circumstances, the body and mind gets tired very quickly and dehydration can be also a really big problem. That's why I love to have water pocket in my jacket, and in this case it's literally help us survive all that Alps trip without having dehydration problems. very warm. Now we have a view on the Garda lake with this beautiful valley so we stopped again and we had to go up like 100 meters up with on our feet and it was very hard. <laughs> so yeah I understand why people are riding here without the riding gear but uh, yeah we don't like to do it. Wonderful view and we are we are gonna ride along the lake on the right side of it. Few things hit us after getting down. First, even higher temperature. Now it was around 36 Celsius. Two, no easy access to the lake from this side. The road goes high above the water and all you can do is look how people on jet ski and windsurfing have fun. Three, beautiful flowers are everywhere here. Four, huge traffic, people everywhere, all parking spots are paid. Of course, if you manage to find one. We stopped to buy water and when we started to pack up, two or three cars came by. Drivers tried to convince us that we should let one of them park on our spot. The most funny thing is, they didn't know English and we didn't know Italian. We chose one, the rest was kinda unhappy and we drove towards Strada della Fora. We are in the beginning of Strada della Fora. We have nice view. This is Strada della Forra and it's wow, it's amazing. One of the, I think, most surprising roads I have ever ridden because uh, it's not long, it's like 500 meters, maybe one kilometer long, but you're riding all time like in such canyon. It's great with tunnels and the water, which is uh, actually very noisy. Uh, we were in something like this in Romai, Romania, in Picas Canyon, but this thing is much better. Oh, there is a car. But there is like a tunnel, I'll show you. And right there, there is an opening and there is another section like this one.
As I said, Strada della Fora is really surprising, it's very unique and extremely scenic, and also this canyon part is very, very short. That another section that I mentioned was actually the exit, so we were like, is it already end? But yes, it was. We enjoyed it, but if I would make all those kilometers to see only this road, I would be kinda disappointed. I would consider it rather an extra point on your route around Garda Lake, not a destination as itself. That was all for plans for this day. We should be coming back on highway, but we decided to choose smaller roads. That actually was a very good idea. We had really wonderful views on mountains. I love riding in valleys. Also, it was getting closer to sunset, so colors around us were totally different than before, and the dance of light and shadows on mountains were magnificent. Golden hour for motorcycle riding, I would say. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed my talking in this episode. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.